side, and in that last round, the fourth, Doug DeWitt was fighting off the chest of Rico Hoy, and he rocked it. DeWitt, by the way, in the red, Hoy in the blue. DeWitt, when he went into his corner, apparently getting a lot of instructions, and he finally just hollered to tell him to all shut up and let me listen to one man. He said there's too much coaching here. <laughs> now, there's a good left hook by DeWitt. That's his punch, and he is fighting like an enraged animal on the inside against Rico Hoy. And when he does that, I'll tell you, he is a very tough fighter. This is round five, scheduled for 10 tonight. Crowd starting to get into the fight now as DeWitt continues to come at Rico Hoy. Hoy the veteran, 30 years of age. Feeling this is a very important fight because of the credentials of the youngster out of Yonkers, New York. Well, for Rico Hoy, it is a fight where he can make his mark and tell people that he's still there as a middleweight and still has a chance to fight some top people. The draw with Perry, uh, we don't want to make too much of it, but it is a good credential for him, even though it was only a draw. And uh, it's something that certainly tells people he deserves to be in there fighting to win. This manager trainer, by the way, Billy Gates, across the way, indicated he never retired at any time. It was just tough to get fights for him. He's only fought six fights again since September of 79. Good combination by Hoy. Good straight right hand to the head of DeWitt. A minute and a half to go, round five. There's that left, that Cobra-type strike. The best jab that DeWitt has thrown. And there was a straight right that momentarily wobbled the knees of Bobby Hoy. You know, there's another Cobra who may be out there watching, Donald the Cobra Curry, who is the WBA welterweight champion. He'll be fighting Patricio Diaz uh, this Saturday. And uh, we want to say hello to Donald and uh, wish him well against Diaz, as we do to Patricio Diaz. It should be an excellent fight. Well, what's some compliments you passed out to that young man from down Fort Worth, Texas was? I think he's an outstanding fighter, one of the best fighting today. But uh, Diaz, uh, the number one contender, has his ideas also. Right now, this Cobra is doing his job against Rico Hoy. And no matter who is doing the instructing in the DeWitt corner, they're all asking to come on now against Bobby Hoy here in the fifth. Bobby Hoy gamely trying to hang on as we close in on the final moments of round five. How different a fight this is than the one that DeWitt fought against Tinley. Some of the elements are there, the body shots, the left hook, but he is certainly being much more uh, of an inside fighter and is being more aggressive and uh, not as much boxing. Rico Hoy in the blue, Doug DeWitt in the red. They close in on the final moments of round number five, scheduled for 10 in the middle weights here from Atlantic City, New Jersey. and has done some damage again here tonight on Rico. Scoring by Al Bernstein. Al, quite obviously, Doug DeWitt has taken control here. I've got DeWitt uh, head in this fight, four rounds to one, and uh, except for the um, third round, which I gave to Hoy, I've given everything to Doug DeWitt. Hoy's corner continues to employ their fighter to start trying to take control, but Doug DeWitt, the young 22-year-old youngster out of Yonkers, is not letting him having much room. They told Hoy, now's the time to take some chances. Uh, meaning, I think, that they sense he's behind in this fight and he has got to do more offensively. Now, here's where the, the new skills, quote unquote, that uh, DeWitt has found could be an advantage to him. He's able to stand at long range and box a little bit with Rico Hoy, uh, maybe take a round. Uh, I'm not suggesting he's going to take a round off, but perhaps pace himself a little bit, and then they come on in the next couple of rounds. By the way, the puffiness under both the right and the left eyes of been worked on in the corner of Doug DeWitt. They don't seem to be given any much of a problem. As a matter of fact, the one under the right eye seemed to be going down rather than enlarging here during the fight. Round number six underway. Ralph Citro in the corner working on those eyes, and he is one of the best at doing that. In fact, Eddie Aliano may be one of the other best cut men in the business working in the other corner with Rico Hoy. So um, if either fighter gets cut, he's got some good men working there. From Hoy's corner, Bill Goots across the way indicating to look for the right hand as much as he can. He's got to start throwing that right hand. Leading well with the left jab. It's not scoring that much, but he's got to start throwing some rights to back it up. In this round, I, I sense that I almost read Doug DeWitt's mind. He has, in fact, kind of taken this round off a bit. He's pacing himself. He's not throwing as many punches and just using the jab against Hoy. Now, some people might think that because of the trouble he had Hoy in the last round, he might have done better to be very aggressive. Good right that time by Hoy. Backing DeWitt up a bit. Both players still, of course, just stalking each other. And 
He's the overhand right by Rico Hart. Get back, get back clean, get back clean. Doug DeWitt has been quiet in this round. He may be giving it away, even though Hoy has not done all that much. Hoy oh, trying to work that combination. That was one of the things that he told us he would try to do. This is a round in which a flurry here at the end could uh, tilt the round for either fighter. And we'll find out which one it might be. Is Doug DeWitt in the red? Rico Hoy in the blue? As they close in on the end of round number six. They'll continue to fight. It's scheduled for ten. 